Did you find what you were looking for? Could President Biden's dropout be the action needed to keep the Democrats in office? From the Associated Press. Biden drops out of 2024 race after disastrous debate inflamed age concerns. VP Harris gets his nod. Zeke Miller, Colleen Long and Darlene Superville of APNews.com write. Washington. President Joe Biden dropped out of the 2024 race for the White House on Sunday, ending his bid for re-election after a disastrous debate with Donald Trump that raised doubts about the incumbent's fitness for office. The unprecedented announcement, delivered less than four months before the election, immediately appended a campaign that both political parties view as the most consequential in generations. The president, intent on serving out the remainder of his term in office, quickly endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris to take on Trump and encouraged his party to unite behind her, making her the party's instant favorite for the nomination at its August convention in Chicago. The announcement is the latest jolt to a tumultuous campaign for the White House, coming a week after the attempted assassination of Trump at a Pennsylvania rally. A party's presumptive presidential nominee has never stepped out of the race so close to the election. President Lyndon Johnson, besieged by the Vietnam War, announced in March 1968 that he would not seek another term after just a single state's primary. Biden's July decision comes after more than 14 million Democrats cast votes supporting him through the primary process. Harris, in a statement, praised Biden's selfless and patriotic act and said she intends to earn and win her party's nomination. I will do everything in my power to unite the Democratic Party and unite our nation to defeat Donald Trump and his extreme project 2025 agenda, she said. Biden's decision to bow out came after escalating pressure from his Democratic allies to step aside following the June 27th debate, in which the 81-year-old president trailed off, often gave nonsensical answers and failed to call out the former president's many falsehoods. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term," Biden wrote in a letter posted Sunday to his ex-account. Nearly 30 minutes after he delivered the news that he was folding his campaign, Biden threw his support behind Harris. Today I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year," he said in another post on X. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Harris faces a staggering political to-do list in the coming days, securing the votes of delegates to claim her party's nomination, picking a running mate, and pivoting a massive political operation that had been built to re-elect Biden to boost her candidacy instead. Harris, if elected, would be the first woman and the first person of South Asian descent to be president. There were early signs that the party was moving to coalesce around Harris, who scored the endorsements of the Congressional Black Caucus and former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton even before she had commented on Biden's decision to quit the race. But, notably, former President Barack Obama held off pledging support behind the eventual party nominee. You can read the full article at the link in the description. Thoughts from the channel. The Democrats have been looking for ways to get Biden out of office almost as long as they were looking for ways to keep Trump out of office. They used his health and declining mental state as the main reason when, for nearly four years, the Democrats went out of their way to convince the country that he was in great physical and mental health to the degree that they purposefully ignored blatant gaffes, Freudian slips, and just flat-out changes in conversations from one topic to a completely different topic. There's more than that, but those are some of the more prominent ones. It's a wonder how the Republicans in Congress failed to impeach him from office. Did they even try? Now that Biden has said he won't run for office again, the Democrats are going to put the ill-equipped Kamala Harris as front-runner, a political pundit that never even got enough delegate votes from her own state, or any other state, to even get within a hair of being nominated as the front-runner for president in the 2020 presidential race and was thrust into the VP role as a diversity hire in our opinion. Diversity hires aren't always a good thing because it delineates the skill sets needed for the position in favor of meeting a quota to appease a group of people. Now it seems the Democrats are pulling the race and gender card. This is coming from the party that believes there are more than two genders. We need the strongest candidate in office to lead our nation regardless of their race, gender, or religious affiliation. We need serious changes because our nation has been on a downward spiral since the last administration took office. Now they want to try and keep themselves in office and do further damage to the nation. Vote for who can do the job and get the United States back on track for a better tomorrow. What are your thoughts? 
Do you believe Biden should have continued his run for another term, or was this the best decision for himself and the nation? Is Harris the right person to put in his place? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching. You can support the channel by subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment, sharing the video, and by adding it to a playlist or by making clips, shorts, and reels. You can also support with other options listed in the description or pinned comment. Search blessings for you all. We hope you keep finding what you're looking for.